Hi guys, you're welcome to today's video and you're welcome back to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, you're welcome to the Lola Joseph gang. I'm Lola Joseph. <laughs> and if you're just meeting me the first time and you've not subscribed yet, don't waste too much of time. Just subscribe and be an official Lola Joseph gang and don't miss out on all the fun things. Fashion, beauty, lifestyle, you find everything here on my channel. Hey! <laughs> so in today's video, I'm doing like a, a two-in-one get ready with me. So I'll be taking you through my um, spring summer 2023 classic style look and my my makeup routine, which I'm, I'm I think I'll be going for this um cloudy skin makeup look that is actually trending right now. It's all over the, the social media. So I thought, you know what? Let me bring it to you. Should you be interested? It's it's a very simple um makeup look, but I believe it's a, it's a fun makeup look that will actually that will actually allow your your makeup to last longer in spring summer season and also look also trendy as well. So and that's basically what some um, today's video is all about so um i think i'll be starting with my makeup first then i'll take you through my my outfit where i got them and um i'll how, how, how to achieve it how i achieved it is that the way to go is that the way to say it yeah how i achieved it so that's what we're doing in today's video so without wasting too much of time let's dive into it <laughs> All right, so starting with my makeup, I believe that prepping your skin is very important. So I'll be prepping my skin with um, a good moisturizer by Elf Cosmetics, and it's it's called um, Elf Oily Hydration. And um, I believe it's I believe for you to achieve a, a beautiful um, makeup look, you need to have a good um, skincare routine and always um, prep your your skin very well before applying your makeup if you know what i mean so prepping your skin with a good um skincare product like a, a good moisturizer a good serum and uh, then your primer then you can go ahead and apply your makeup and so on so that's what i'm doing right now so i'm going to go i've applied my moisturizer and i'm going to go ahead to apply my my primer so for my primer i'm using this one by uh, makeup revolution and it's called uh, is it mattifying mattifying primer i just love this primer so much just because of the it's so moisturizing and it helps the makeup to just to melt on the skin so i love that so i'll be going with the primer and then the next step would be applying my lip balm i believe your lips are also very important in your skincare routine and makeup routine as well so prep the lips with um with a good lip balm you know during your skincare routine you can scrub and moisturize and have the lip balm but during your makeup routine always use your lip balm so i'm using this lip balm by vaseline very very affordable but and very effective as well it's very healing so So for the cloud skin makeup look, it's basically like a, it's like you're achieving a semi matte makeup look, a velvety, powdery, semi matte makeup look, and that the process whereby you used to achieve the the makeup look tends to lead to a long lasting makeup look that will not um, produce too much oil in spring summer season, if you know what I mean, and um, looking also powdery, blushy powdery kind of um, makeup finish if you know what i mean a very soft velvety matte makeup look so i'm going to use this um elf what's it called now elf elo elo liquid filter it's a very it's like a a tinted primer but it's more of a glowy it's very luminous yeah it's very luminous it has this um, glassy finish which i believe a cloudy makeup look should um should have it you should it should have a a semi a semi matte look so soft glow along with a, a bit of a matte here and there so that is how that, that's how to achieve a good um cloud skin makeup look so i believe it's the trend of um spring summer season 2023 spring summer season and i just don't let me incorporate it in today's video should you be interested into knowing how to achieve the um the makeup trend this product is good by the way so i'll definitely recommend it to you
So to achieve a good um a cloudy a cloud skin makeup look, I believe you need to mix your foundation with your primer. So that is what I'm doing right now. So I'm going to be pouring this foundation. The foundation is actually by um Relove, Relove by Makeup Revolution. It's like um uh, it's super matte. So Relove by Makeup Revolution super matte foundation. It's like foundation and and concealer together. So it's eye coverage basically. So. So I'm going to mix it with my with my primer, which I've just shown you now. So I'll be mixing it with my primer, and this amount is just enough. I'm still having fun with my NYX Bear With Me Concealer. So I still use it to brighten and um, and that's about it. It conceals as well. I actually reviewed it. So if you haven't seen the video, just um, look through my videos on my channel and you'll find it there. It's so cool and very good. Great for summer as well. All right, so for to achieve a cloud skin, this step is very important and it has to do with your setting powder. So for my setting powder, I'll be using this one by Makeup Revolution and it's called, um, it's a Makeup Revolution Banana banana Light um, Loose Setting Powder. So I've poured it inside this um, container. So I'll be using the, um, the puff to catch it and I'll place it. And I'll place it in my T-zone area and other areas just to achieve that cloudy, uh, velvety, matte, soft matte makeup look. So let's go. So once you've set your t-zone area then you use them um, the same puff and go over the rest of your face just like this
and once this is done we can move on to to the bronzer all right so for cloud skin makeup look i believe a cream bronzer or liquid bronzer is just enough and i'm using this one by pretty little thing it's actually a serum foundation but i went for like um, a shade to two shade darker just to use it as a bronzer just because i love the formula very nourishing and it blurs and it glows i love it so much i believe it's very great for a cloud skin makeup look <laughs> for summer as well as you can see it's my like my last drop <laughs> All right, so once I've used my cream bronzer or liquid bronzer, then I use the powder. This this step is totally up to you if you want to, but I think um, you should set your, your liquid uh, bronzer as well, just to make it long lasting. So I go ahead with my powder bronzer just to finish it all off. So let's just um let's give the nose a, a little bit of shape <laughs> Alright, so at this stage, I'm just gonna set it. So, if you want your makeup to be long lasting, I believe you should set it at this stage. So, just use your favorite um, setting spray. This one is actually by Makeup Obsession and it's a matte, it's called the Matte Finish Setting Spray. I'll link it for you below if you're interested. Very good and nourishing for the skin. So, I've set it, I'm going to let it settle down, then I'll go ahead with my eyeshadow and so on and um I'll, I'll show you the next step <laughs> all right so for my eyeshadow palette i'll be going in with this um uh, is it uh, patricia bright and makeup revolution rich in life eyeshadow palette i'll link it for you below if you're interested love the palettes you know a must have it has everything that you need throughout your life <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm joking, but it's so so good. It's a cold, it's a most have it's a cold cold classic kind of palette. Yeah. Anyway, so um I'm just gonna go for this um bronzy neutral brown and um we we'll take it up from there. I don't know where the eyes are going to lead to, but let's let's go. This is just my concealer brush, which I use to brighten. So I'm just using it to just give the eyes a little bit of shape. Uh, I, I kind of like um, this classic look. I believe you, you can wear it from day to night. So I'm just going to blend the concealer in just to... I think I'm going to leave the eyes matte, just like this. And, and I think the eyes are done. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my lashes and I'll be right back.
and in case you're wondering where my nail polish is from it's actually by Rimmel London and I believe this is in rose something something I'll link it for you below I'll try and look for for um, what's it called now for the name and everything and I'll link it for you below hopefully I'll be able to find them in the online stores and so on I managed to I kind of lay my hands on them at um, on the sorry on it on the at uh, one of the at the pharmacies my pharmacies so, so hopefully I'll be able to find it online and I'll link it for you it's so gorgeous very beautiful <laughs> All right, so the name of my nail polish is by Rimmel London, like I said earlier, and it's the it's in 405 Rose Libertine. So 405 Rose Libertine. I'll try and look for it. It's like a coral, pastel-like coral color tone. It's very great for spring summer season. So I'll link it for you. It's so beautiful. I love it. <laughs> All right, so for the final step for the cloud skin makeup look, I'm going to set it again with my setting spray, and go over it again with the with the setting powder and that will be the final step so let's set so leave it to um to settle down then go over it with the with the um, loose powder loose setting powder So I'm using a bigger puff this time around and if you have something bigger than this you can go ahead and use it so I'll just use it all over my face so starting with from my t-zone then down to um to the rest of the face So just continue dabbing until you're satisfied with the with the blend. Not not really like a blend. You're just dabbing. So until it's all well put together, then you can let go. And that's it. Cloud skin makeup look. Powdery soft matte velvety finish makeup look. That you can rock all summer spring summer looking also beautiful and your makeup will be long lasting just because of that setting powder it will delay oil production and everything and it's you get that beautiful soft powdery velvety makeup look <laughs> i love it so much and i believe it works well with blush as well if you want to have if you want to have um a little bit much um pigmented blush not so much but what really makes sense something similar to what i've just done you know it works well with the blush and then place the powder on top just have just the way that i've shown you and um you won't regret it <laughs> and and that's it for the makeup i love it it's beautiful you can't go wrong with it <laughs> anyway so for the outfit i'm i'm going for something very very trendy but very classic as well trendy in the sense that it's all round monocolor style look monocolor style look is the trend of the season and it the color range from caramel to hot pink and so on so i went for the caramel tone this time around just because i love that um i love that color tone in my in my aesthetics so <laughs> i went for that kind of color tone and i went i went for this gorgeous cargo trousers it's a wide leg um cargo trousers although without pockets which is very which makes it very great for me that means once the cargo trousers trend is out i can be able to stick to my simple wide leg trousers well anyway let's just call it a simple wide leg trousers made with like a, a chinos fabric i love the fabric i love the fitting it's um i actually found it a pretty little thing and i believe i've actually introduced it to you in in my on my channel before it's so beautiful and i i just love the fact that the waist has uh, no band it has no waistband which makes it very gorgeous so i decided to finish it with some um, with a Body suit. I believe a gorgeous bodysuit is like a must have for any spring summer wardrobe. You wear it, you know, wear it however you want. You can wear it with your white leg trousers, with your denim jeans, as part of elevated look or as part of a dress down look, and you'll be you you know you you, you will still look also chic. It's all about um, how you 
or put it together to elevate and how you dress it down to to make it um more like a casual look so i went for a bodysuit and i believe bodysuit is very great uh, with uh, with wide leg trousers because when when you sit down you, the fabric will move up up and down if you know what i mean nothing will be coming out of you it's really like a well polished well put together smart look so that is what um, i've done in today's um, video the 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 bodysuit is from pretty little thing and the wide leg trouser is also from pretty little thing and for the for the shoes i been i i just decided to go for moves moves are like they are classic oh, the spring summer season you can't afford not to have uh, not to have moves and they are trending right now so i went for this um botiga veneta dupe by shein i love the fact that it's braided classic very chic very beautiful and i believe it's a little bit square this way from right i just love the design it's so gorgeous it goes well with the overall monocolor look yet very classic because it's a kind of um style look you keep going back to over and over again and it will never run out of style so and I thought, you know what, because we're still in 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 um spring season, which we usually experience um up and down weather condition, sometimes it's cold, sometimes it's warm, it's kind of in it's kind of in between. I thought, you know, let's just go for like a beautiful chunky sweater and place it on top of the shoulder. So once you place that on top of the shoulder, you get the, the warmth that you need once the weather when once the weather is a little bit uh, cooler and once it gets so hot. You can just take out the sweetheart, just leave it at home or put it in your bag and you look also chic. So you can wear this look from spring summer, from spring to summer season and you won't get it wrong. You can elevate it further, probably with like your favorite pumps or strappy sandals or so on and so on. I'm 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 elevating it with my beautiful pair of moles and they're so beautiful. I believe you can go. I love the uh, the beige color tone of the moles. It goes well with the, the with the caramel color tone that we're trying to uh achieve in today's look and the sweater also goes well with the overall monocolor style look that we're trying to achieve my bag remained the same I've, I've already introduced it to my bag before it's a simple structured bag a medium size structured bag by shein very classic very chic it's like a good do for like a designer brand if you know what i mean it's giving me Givenchy, it's giving me boutique veneta you know all those um saint lauren and so on all those designer that, that kind of um go for classic uh classic staples if you know what i mean In, so anyway and that's about it with the bag so the bag is from shein the chunky sweater is from boohoo no no sorry the chunky sweater is from pretty little thing as well the body suit from pretty little thing violet trosa is also from pretty little thing and i'll link them for you below should you be interested in any of them and i'll also link all the makeup products that i used in today's video for you below should you be interested in, in investing in any of them they are all so great so i keep going back to them anyway so while styling myself i thought you know what let me just finish the look with a beautiful chunky necklace i love um i believe a chunky chunky necklace can never go out of style they're so beautiful they're so trendy they're so urban yet very classy you know you know if you know what i mean it's a very it's a very chic way to add um elevation to your look and you can't go wrong with this chunky can you, can you have a look at this this is so gorgeous i found it a pretty little thing very affordable and yet very stylish and um looking also expensive <laughs> i believe for this kind of look you should also go with like hoop earrings as well hoop earrings they're classic and they're also trending right now so they can never run out of style and thank god the runways are going back to them as part of their uh, of their style looks on the runway so i'll definitely recommend the the hoop earrings to you and for my wristwatch the hoop earrings are from shein by the way they're from shein and for my wristwatch my wristwatch is uh, i actually this has been with me for like forever and i just managed to to lay my hands on it while going through my my stuff i think i've had it for over a decade now and i found it at some um, debenhams it's actually by it's it's uh it's actually called reading reading uh, by debenhams so i'll try and look for it for you online if they still have it at debenhams otherwise i'll look for an alternative i just love the white color tone against the overall look it's just giving me that urban chic look a smart casual not even casual but just call it a classy a classy magazine girl um uh, editor style influencer beauty influencer kind of vibe if you know what i mean <laughs> So that's what we're going for today. So I'm going to be putting it on and I'll show you my overall look from head to toe once uh, we're done. So um, I've got my wristwatch on, I've got my earrings, my necklace and yeah, my, bo my body mist. Let me introduce you to my body mist. I love it so much. So should you be interested? It's very, very good. My body mist is by um, Makeup Revolution. 
and it's a fragranced body mist this one is actually called watermelon sunset also beautiful it smells so great you know it smells like watermelon mixed with a, a, a kind of spiked with with a little bit of um, fragrance i don't know i don't know what actually spiked it but it's so good you can use it as a body it, it is a body mist it's just a fragrance body mist it smells so nice so i'll definitely recommend it to you and i'll link it for you below should you be interested i believe they also have it in peach but i think um the watermelon is much more better anyway <laughs> this it gets into my throat i don't know why <laughs> anyway so i believe this that's the end of, uh, what else do i want to talk about i believe that's it for the for the style and for for my makeup and my uh, my body mist and jewelry and so on so um i'll meet you guys on my way out all right guys so i'm on my way out now so and this is the overall look I hope you really enjoy it. Let me just give you like a quick um a quick look. <laughs> and I'll also pop like a, a little um video along with this video just for you to have a, a quick look uh at the at the style look i hope you really enjoyed today's video and i hope you really have fun in getting ready with me today um what more i'll see you in my next video do not forget to subscribe subscribe and like this video if you really have fun and i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>